What is up guys, my name is Nick the Slayer, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're doing another Minecraft Modern House Let's Build, so let's jump right into it. So we loaded up into a super flat world, and yeah, so let's just go... Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, mention earlier, there is actually new blocks in, uh, in Minecraft now. There's the diorite, the andesite, the granite and the chiseled red sandstone along with many many other blocks there's also rabbits it's pretty cool alright but anyways let's get into the materials that you will need so we are going to try and incorporate some of the new stuff maybe so let's grab a block of quartz and let's go with um, Let's try going with some acacia wood this time. So we will grab some of that along with the, we're gonna want these slabs of both of those items and the stairs of the, I just grab the stairs of both of them too, might as well. All right. Um, yeah, not too sure what we're gonna use for a door yet. We'll have to figure that out after, but let's get right into an idea. So what we're gonna do is bring this over like that, and actually we're gonna build this more like a platform house, I guess. It's gonna be raised anyways. So just bring it up five if you're following me. And you just don't want to build a little staircase. What I always do is, if I don't stop it at that one, then I stop it at the one, the next full block. Because you can't really place much on that without it floating. So here, we will actually, let's build this up. Get rid of those bottom ones and just place some acacia planks in there. Alright. And here we can bring this one over. We're not going to make a giant house, I don't want anything too big. So, just like that. And now. We can build this side up. Put some acacia planks in there. Alright, now this part. We're just going to grab a potion of swiftness. Give that a double. And then we're just going to drag this all the way out to there. Actually, you know what? We might as well just go all the way. Um, yeah, about that long, I think. And then down here, you can just put some more of those acacia planks. Build that up. Some more acacia planks on this side as well. And build that one up. So... This is actually going to be like a patio type thing. So we're going to use the acacia for that. And then the, let's go with, let's go with the dark oak for our interior floor. So build that across so it's the same as the staircase there. And then build it up and cross it over. So that's going to be our doorway. So then here we can just, let's go, hmm, so this will come up, that'll come up place that there for now. I don't know how big of a window we're going to want here. 
Um, all right, yeah, let's go with the uh, five block window. So leave that open. And then you can go ahead and grab any type of glass panes that you'd like. I'm going to go with the black stained glass. And this will be just for the, um, just the railing on the deck here. Not that that fall would kill you, but obviously not. It's just to look good. So here we can actually start burning this out a little bit. So we're going to have to pick our, what we want our layout to be like. So I was thinking to have this area right here, our living room type area. So go ahead and get rid of those panes because now we're going to use the full block. And just fill that in. So you should have a five by four window. See what that looks like from the front. Not too bad. We're gonna focus more on the interior for this house. So this will come up and we're not gonna want any windows on this wall, I don't believe. So we can just go ahead and fill that right up. And bring it out just to there. Drink another one of those things. So that is, let's see, eight blocks that I just filled in there. So now here we will have a, let's see, let's bring this out so we get a better idea what we're dealing with here. So let's throw a little window up here. Um, bring that in two blocks. Make a nice little three by two window. So this is gonna be our living room. We're gonna have our TV on that wall. So then we want it to come back here. So let's bring the floor back and around. Which is in back here we will have our kitchen and our little hallway area that leads to our bedroom. Um, right, well, what we can do is Make let's bring this out just to there. And let's see, we don't want to go too big with this. Alright, it's not looking too bad. So now here we're actually going to put a little staircase. So what I'm wanting to do is have our staircase lead up to our bedroom. 
So we're not gonna need the acacia stairs. I thought we'd be doing more with the acacia wood, but we didn't end up doing a whole lot. So we'll have it about here. It'll turn. So we can go start coming down with this. Place those. And like always, we'll have our little room possibly under there. Maybe not actually. That might get filled in. And then here we will have the rest of our stairs going up. All right, so what we should have done, actually, what we're going to do is, first of all, set the time to day so we don't have to deal with any of that. And then we will bring that out just one more, just so it's a little more even. There we go, so then we'll come like that, and like that. All right, and then this is actually gonna be, so what we could do, No, we'll just stick with that. So, those stairs aren't in the most convenient place going this way. But we can try and conceal them a little bit. So, just go ahead and fill that in. Sorry if you guys can hear my controller is being a little loud right now. Alright, that actually doesn't look too bad, that cross over there. So here, we're actually just gonna... Let's just get rid of that. We don't need that. Useless space. Alright, I think that staircase looks pretty good. So like I said before, this is more for the interior than the exterior of the house. We're not really paying much attention to what the exterior looks like, but we will be paying attention to the interior. So we just gotta fill this in. Just enough so we can sort of get an idea what it's going to look like once you come up the stairs. Alright. Not too bad. So this is actually going to be where our kitchen is. Kitchen and dining room area. So on this wall we are going to have a window. Um, let's see. See how that looks. Alright, it would have to be out to there, so it's centered. And then this wall. Just tie that off. Bring that up one. So we can see how we want it. And... Let's go with just a little window. And this will just be... There, like that. So, you can go ahead and fill in the rest of your roof now if you want. So, we're just going to fill in the whole ceiling here real quick. So, we're just going to cross that over there. 
and fill this part in. And yeah. Alright guys, I am going to end the video there, but don't forget to check back tomorrow for the next episode of Modern House 4 Part 2. It'll be brought to you guys tomorrow, so make sure you check in, because I know you're going to love it. I'm going to be doing the upstairs, and a little bit of the landscaping will definitely be furnishing this house. Because yeah, I am using a city texture pack, so there is a lot of stuff you can do with houses. So we're going to make sure we do that. Anyways, don't forget to go follow me on Twitter. The link for that is in the description below. I will be doing a special little thing on Twitter. So make sure you follow me on there so you don't miss out. Because I will not really be announcing it on YouTube a whole lot. But it will be going on there. Something to do with the new year. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. Go back and watch my previous videos as they're just as good as this one subscribe so you never miss a future upload and i'll catch you guys in the next one